On my back, there are three most popular 511 backpacks. So for this one, it's a Rush 12. It's about 24 liters of capacity. And this is Rush 24, and have a 37 liters capacity. And this is Rush 72, it got 55 liters capacity. So I listed here, just give you a rough idea. So which one, how big it is, how it looks like, and which one you should choose. So for the first one is the Rush 12 for 24 liters. It could say that it is a one day or half a day pack. So pack the essentials for going out. And it's pretty small and easy to handle. You see that I'm five feet seven and it's on my back is right above here, right on top of the waist. So it doesn't have a waist strap and uh, when you hold it like this, it's not going anywhere, it's very tight. So it shouldn't be super heavy, but it feels like you see that it's pretty narrow and on the top. The webbing is very good, you won't feel tired. And I think if you want to have a very small minimum tactical backpack, I think this is a very good option, especially you are in the uh, very warm climate. You don't have a lot of clothes to carry. So this one is for you. And let's move on to the Rush 24. So this one is 37 liters. I think in my opinion, this is the most popular one because the size. You can feel that this is wider, a more capacity and got a lot of functions. You can modify this one by putting a lot of pouches. They got molly system on the side, on the back, on the top. So they got lots of tons of pockets, lots of rooms for your computer, iPad, all kind of things. And I think that if you even live in the colder environment, you need to bring more clothes. I think this size is pretty good for a one day uh, backpack or bag out bag. And let's move on to the third one. This one is, is Rush 72, got 57 liters of capacity. And I think this backpack is for the bigger boys. I'm 5'7". You can see that this one for me is kind of a little bit big, but that's fine. It's not a daily bag because it's, it's bigger and it's also it's heavier. Also got a waist strap. So means that if you, oh, but it, it got a place that if you don't want to use this one, you can tack them inside. But I think that it's better to have waist strap on it because you're gonna carry a lot of stuff and save you a lot of energy. And the suspension system is pretty good. I feel like it's right on my hip and on my shoulder. So the waist strap and shoulder strap, they are all very comfortable and give you a lot of support on the back. And for this bag, I think that it's good for three days. If you go out for camping, I think this is a pre pretty good option, but it's not like a daily kind of thing. It's too big for me. All right, hopefully this video is helpful. Thank you for watching.